Joining us now from Jackson Hole to talk about Ben Bernanke's upcoming remarks is Senior Managing Director and Chief Economist for Mesero Financial, Diane Swank. Uh, Diane, thanks for being with us this morning. What are you hearing out there? Well, most people are extremely concerned about what's going on. Um, not necessarily double dip recession, but people are talking about, you know, almost treading water, really very little growth. And they're concerned globally. Everyone's, there's just no, there's no shortage of worry. Let's put it that way. There's a lot of worries out there, the long list of worries. And, you know, Christine Lagarde is here as well. Um, you know, we've just got the whole European situation. Everyone's very concerned about what that's going to mean for us. And people are also very concerned about our ability to jumpstart anything in terms of real growth in this economy. Most people are talking well below 2% in the second half of the year. Yeah, and we got some more numbers this morning that suggest the, the growth is weak. You also mentioned uh, that Christine Lagarde, director of the IMF, is there. Is there really an undue amount of pressure on Bernanke to save the world at this point, so to speak? Well, you know, I mean, there's been an undue amount of pressure on them since 2008 and 2007. So, unfortunately, they've been living in this crisis management mode for a long time, and they really want to get to trying to do long-term solutions, trying to think about what are the best policies over the long haul, but they really don't have that choice right now. And the burden is on central bankers, including Ben, to, you know, be able to, their, their burden is to be, shoot the last bullets they've got and hope they can, you know, tame this beast. But this is not an easy time for any of them. You can tell that. You can tell that people are concerned about it but they've also they, they've turned it from a sprint during the crisis and running and running to now a marathon of misery uh, a marathon of misery well put you know part of the problem is that there are really two aspects to getting your house in order there's fiscal policy which is the government or at least we hope that the government has its eye on the ball and then there's monetary policy at what point can Bernanke not really pick up where Washington is leaving him short well, the problem is the Fed's mandate. I mean, a lot of people, there are many people here who believe the Fed shouldn't do anything more, that there's just nothing the Fed can do. I happen to disagree with that. I think still in the margin they can help the U.S. economy. But that said, what's their mandate? Their mandate is to pry, try to provide some kind of growth and stability when inflation and unemployment are not in any kind of comfortable ranges. And they're on, bo on both sides, they're still in a position where um, lowering inflation is a risk, deceleration of inflation is a risk below their target level, and unemployment is too high, so they don't really have a choice by law to, not, to do nothing. All right, let me ask you, what do you think we'll hear today from Ben Bernanke, and is that different from what you would like to hear from Ben Bernanke? Actually, you know, I mean, let's put, let's face it, the Fed, he can't be buying something on Monday in terms of large-scale asset purchases. I think what he's going to do today is something similar to last year in terms of laying out what the Fed can do and giving you a strong sense of what his preference is. Last year, he was very clear his preference was large-scale asset purchases. He's going to lay out all the different options they have, how they could use them in tandem, what are the, what's the priority of things to do, and then my sense is that he'll also go very clearly into how they could um, deal with the large-scale asset purchase program, though, unlike like last year, this is not a policy shift. They've already talked about this. Um, they've already opened the door to it at their last meeting. So I think this is a continuation, and some people may be disappointed that this is, this is just reaffirming what they already know the Fed can do. Now, Diane, he, Bernanke keeps pulling rabbits out of his hat. Do you think he can do it again? You know, rabbits multiply. So um, I do think he can do it again. This is a man who um, is incredibly uh, out of the box thinker. And, you know, we do know that, you know, his tools are diminishing. His box is not as big as it once was. But this is someone who continually has amazed us with his ability to pull those rabbits out of a box and out of a hat. And I have to say, like I said in the beginning, rabbits multiply. That's one of the animals that we get a lot of. Okay, we'll be, uh, we'll be looking for rabbits, Diane Swank, Chief Economist at Mesero Financial. Thanks for your perspective.